it wasn't for big wrecks like this, I wouldn't be in the market for one of these bad boys. Today, we're talking about the Maverick 2.0 Canadian Edition. What's going on YouTube? Today we're talking about the CJC Maverick 2 carbon fiber chassis. Right now we're going to take a first look at it and uh, see what she's all about. When you order the kit, it comes with just what you see here. It comes with 3mm carbon fiber flat, uh, flat wheelie bar, 4mm carbon chassis with the uh, grass bulkheads, Get your front bumper, 4mm as well. You got a whole bunch of different positions for doing the uh, the Drag Race Concepts uh, brass weights for the front. We also got the rear shock tower and body mount. And that's in 4mm. Also get your 4mm transmission standoff. And also you get your motor plate. And as an option piece, you can get the four millimeter brass rear transmission riser. I know what you're thinking. That red carbon fiber chassis plate, it is in your face. But it actually looks pretty nice when you get it mixed in with the uh, blue anodized team associated parts with the buggy kit. As I'm sure you're already aware, in order to complete the, the the kit, you're going to need to get yourself a B-Series uh, buggy, 6.1, 2, or 3. 3 probably being your cheapest route with everything. I couldn't find anything in my local place here in Canada, so I ended up going the more expensive route and picking myself up the Team Associated 6.4. Thanks a lot to uh, JT Hobbies for being able to hook me up with two of these for my cars. We have ourselves almost a fully built Maverick chassis. I did forget to mention though, it does come with the front shock tower. And it also comes with your uh, battery supports. Looks like you'll just use like a rubber band style uh, piece to be able to hold it in place properly with the little nubs that are on on the brace. Just like most of your uh, buggy conversion kits, you're going to use basically the front suspension components, all of it, for your uh, to build complete your build, as well as same with your rear and transmission, obviously. This, 6.2 lay down transmission. All in all, I have to say the craftsmanship that went into this chassis is next to none. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. And it looks like just about every piece has the logo already engraved in it, as you can see. There are shock tower. Uh, incredible absolutely love it now that I talked about how much I absolutely love this chassis let's uh, talk about the cons which I don't even know if you can call them a con but in my opinion for my purpose we'll call it that so first thing on the chopping block is the servo mounts with the servo in this direction you can see that you need a stubby servo full size won't won't work, which I knew that. So I got a uh, Reedy Comp Servo, which is shorter, but fortunately I'd say it's probably about five, five millimeters too tall. So I want to see if I can make it work by using uh, washers on the uh, end links for the steering to be able to raise it a little bit. If not, I'll have to go back and uh, probably get a smaller one, maybe a Reedy 444 or something. And for the seconds, is on most of these chassis, if not all of them, you have the recess, which you can see in the 
here for all your screws. But the uh, actual nuts for them, they protrude past the chassis a little bit here. So as you can see in there, whether or not it's going to do anything, I don't think it will with the suspension compressed. It doesn't seem like it even touches anyways. But I'm just, I've never seen it before, so I'm just calling it a con just for my sake, I guess. Where it's, yeah, it's just protruding. I figured it'd probably drag on the ground, but if you're running on a good surface and with the suspension set right, you shouldn't hit it anyways. But on the flip side of that, when you take the nut off, which I don't have one sitting here, it actually got little grooves in it, so it, it uh, locks itself into the chassis, which is pretty nice. But obviously, make sure you got blue Loctite on all these screws anyways, and always check them. But if you guys are shopping around for a chassis, especially if you're in Canada, Make sure you give JCJ RC Drag Chassis a uh, look up on Facebook. They'll have the link down in the subscription and see what they got. Maybe you'll have something you like. If you like the review and you'd like to see more, hit the like button. You know it helps the channel. And subscribe so you know when uh, the next videos come out. Have a good one, guys.